Hello, and thank you for joining today's tutorial. My name is Jennifer Jensen. I am an independent gel moment distributor, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a French fade or a boomer nail. So the colors that I'm gonna be using today are Champagne Toast, Lovey Dovey. I'm also gonna be using Stardust for some added sparkle, and then we're gonna seal everything in with Clearly Frisky. Before I begin this manicure, and with any manicure when using gel polish, it's important to prep your nails first. So to do that, I'm gonna be using my gel moment cuticle pusher and just gently pushing my cuticles back to remove them from my nail. And then once I've completed that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the foamy side of my gel moment file and just lightly buff the top of my nail. And if your nail is not the shape that you like, you can go ahead and file that as well while you're on this step and just get everything the way that you like it. And then once you've completed those steps, you want to remove any oil or debris by using a alcohol pad or a gel moment cleanser pad. I'm just gonna apply that and let that dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and begin with our design. What I'm gonna do first is apply a thin coat of champagne toast over my entire nail and I've already done this on all of my nails except for my thumb I left that open so I could show you guys here today so I am just going to just like if I were only using a solid color I'm going to go ahead and do a thin coat of champagne toast over the entire base of my nail and then I'm going to cure that using my gel moment LED lamp for 45 seconds go ahead and do that and today I'm using the gel moment professional lamp okay now that that is cured for 45 seconds we're ready to do the next step which is to apply a thin coat of lovey-dovey onto the tip of the nail so I am just going to apply that here and then if you get any on your skin just be sure to wipe that off before you cure going to wipe that off and then I'm going to leave that wet and I'm going to apply a bead of champagne toast to the bottom section of the nail and I'm going to leave the white wet for blending purposes so I just want to put a bead there I don't want to touch it um, with this brush because then I'm going to get the white into my pink and I don't want that so what I have here is an empty bottle of champagne toast and I'm just going to recycle the brush from this one and you can do this with any brush if you have the creativity set there's all kinds of brushes in there that would be great for this I just want to recycle the brush since I already have it here so I'm going to go ahead and move this around just like I if I were painting regularly and then as I get to the top here I'm just going to slowly blend this in to make that line less drastic and don't worry if on your first time it doesn't look fully blended we're gonna do this a couple of times and that will really help smooth things together and if you have too much polish just remove the excess as you fade it down and just make sure you don't get any on your cuticle or your skin while you're doing this. And just smooth that all out. And then again, once you get to the top, just pull that through. And then I am making very light motions just to feather that in. Okay, and then once you have it a smooth finish, doesn't have to be blended fully. Again, we're going to do this a few times. You can go ahead and cure that for 45 seconds. Okay, now that that is cured, we're going to go ahead and just repeat the process until we get the look that we like. Again, I'm just applying a thin coat of lovey dovey to the tip of my nail and when I get it on my skin I'm just making sure to wipe that off before I cure it and now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process with the champagne toast at the base and again I'm just applying a coat at the bottom and I did not cure the white at the top because I want to use that for blending 
So again, I'm going to be using my recycled brush from my empty bottle of Champagne Toast and I'm just going to be using that to blend these two colors together here at the line. Just making a small circular motion. And then pulling that down and making sure not to get any on my skin or my cuticle. And then one thing I've learned is if you get it close to your cuticle and then push it down, that helps me keep it off of my cuticle. And then just smooth it out. And then we're gonna cure that for 45 seconds. Okay, now that that has cured, we could either go ahead and do another coat of lovey-dovey on the tip and another coat of champagne toast at the base if we wanted to make everything a little bit brighter. Um, but I think we're okay for time's sake. I'm just going to go ahead and move to the next step, but that is an option that you could do if you wanted a bolder look. So my next step is to add some sparkle using stardust, and this is just really fine glitter that will also help us to blend things through. Again, this step is also optional. You don't have to do this, but I just love adding sparkles to everything. So I am going to go ahead and apply a thin coat over top of the white of the Lovey Dovey. And again, that's going to help kind of just bring everything together and blend that through. You could go ahead and go through um, the entire nail, but I just like the way that it looks on the tip. And it's really hard to see it in this lighting, but it does just give it a soft kind of snowy shimmer to the tip. So once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 45 seconds. And we could also do another coat of um, the Stardust if we wanted added glitter and a deeper glitter look. But again, for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and do one coat and then I'm gonna seal everything and smooth it all out with the last step, which is gonna be applying Clearly Frisky. So I will show you that once this is finished curing. Okay, now that that's cured. I'm going to go ahead and apply Clearly Frisky to finish things off. We just need a thin coat here and this is going to help smooth everything out and give it some added protection. I'm going to go ahead and cap my tips and then again I'm just going to be sure to remove any excess that I may have gotten on my skin and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 45 seconds. Okay, now that that's cured, everything is dry and finished. One last thing that I like to do anytime I apply fresh polish is apply some nail and cuticle oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and lather that on all around my nails and that's gonna help me keep my nails healthy and strong and then I not only do this when I apply fresh polish, but I do this several times a day, um, just about every time I wash my hands and then definitely before bed so I can really let it soak in overnight. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just rub it in a little bit and then there we have it. And thank you guys again for joining this tutorial and watching today. I hope this helped you learn something new and if you have any questions or comments you can certainly let me know in the comments below and as always if you do try this I would love your feedback and I would love to see your pictures. Thank you. Have a great night.